So this is our easy seated pose in yoga. We've been here before. This is like a level five here um, or level Three, when the leg is stacked here, you see everybody on TV and all that kind of stuff. Sukhasana, easy seated pose, half loaded pose, lotus pose, all those kind of fancy terms. Sitting, um, as they say, Native American indigenous people style, sitting crisscross here, whatever works for you. My shoulders are relaxed, my chest is up, my breath is deep. I'm gonna level out my chin. Good. And we're just gonna start our flow from here. So I'm gonna bring my right hand down, I'm mirroring. So that's my right hand to your right hand. And I'm just gonna gently, slowly, testing the body out, move over to my right side. Good, feeling the support in that right hand down on the ground. I'm just going to that right side is enough for my body to be like, hey, this feels good or it doesn't feel good. And I'm gonna inhale slowly, breathing in, come back to the top. Good, and then as I exhale, slowly bring that left hand, letting the left hand guide me, but then letting that right side open up as I pull away, stretching out. Good, shoulders relaxed. Once again, checking in. My hip over here is waking up. I'm leaning to the left, leaning to the right. Good. One more breath in. Exhale. Inhale, slowly coming back up, opening the body. And once again, checking in with the legs. If you need to extend them or change positions, okay. And then I'm going to slowly walk my hands forward, bring my chest forward and start to feel the stretch in the back. Drop my chin towards my chest and walking forward. So we're here right after school. We're here right before school. Our body's slowly waking up, pumping out all the toxins so we can pull in all the endorphins, the feel goods. I wanna hang out here for the next five. You can just close your eyes, let your chin come to your chest. Four, let the spine round, meaning make sure your tailbone, your butt's down and your head is down. Three, breathing into the belly still, relaxing the shoulders. Two and one, good. So you don't have to go as far as, you only go as far as you need to go. You have your arms for support, your elbows, or you can just lean forward. We're gonna slowly start to walk the hands back, sitting up nice and tall, good. We're gonna do a shoulder roll when we get to the top. Take your time, don't rush. Just rolling the shoulders back and down. Good, rolling the shoulders back. Nice. Relaxing the shoulders. We're gonna transition. I wanna give you another pose that is super duper powerful. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees, if that works for you. If you need more cushion, go ahead and slide a blanket, a pillow, or fold your mat here to make sure you're getting all the cushion in your knees. If this is too much on your wrist, Bring the hands a little bit further out away from you. If it's still too much on your wrist, you can come down to your elbows. Good, the tops of your feet are pressed down into the mat. I'm gonna come up into what we call our cow position. Like you're mooing at the moon and that's just relaxing my shoulders, slowly bringing the head up, the belly drops, the tailbone comes up. It's like a little dip in my back, like a half pipe on the skate park. Bring the chin to the sky. Flex through the spine. Oh, that feels good. Good. And then exhale, round the spine, tucking the tailbone, bringing the chin towards the chest, the forehead towards the knees. And now my spine comes up and into the sky. Good for our cat position. It's like a speed bump. Inhale slowly coming up back into our cow position. Shoulders roll back and down. Belly drops. Heart opens up. Mm. And then tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, coming into your cat position. Gently pushing away from the mat with my hands and my arms. Tailbones tucked down. Bring the tailbone forward even to good belly pulled up. And exhale, come on down back into our tabletop position here where the back is flat. And if you want to, you can just move side to side because that feels great on my hips. Ooh, 
moving side to side, just feel good movement there, good. And from here, we can just stay here or maybe slide just the left foot back and press the left foot into the, the ground and the left heel is pulling back. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg. This is our, we're making our way towards downward facing dog. If that works for you, if not, we can stay here and just stretch one leg. Good, and when you're ready, you can alternate, meaning switch it up, bringing that right foot back. My right foot pressed into the ground, the right heel pulling back. My forehead, the top of my head, my whole upper body is pulling forward. Body is pulling in two different directions to feel the stretch. Once again, if you need a little bit more support in the hands, you can come down to your elbows. Still an amazing, fantastic stretch here. Good. And if you want to stay there, you can, and you can switch back, or you can come up into our downward facing dog. Once again, we can stay here, or we can tuck the toes and come into our level five. This is the Charizard of downward facing dogs here. I think it's Charizard, right? That's the full one. Uh, moving the hips back and forth. <laughs> got to love Pokemon. Bringing the head back and forth, bringing the hips back and forth, just kind of feeling what's going on for you here, being in the knees, a full body stretch here. Your chest is moving back towards the knees. Good. You're feeling good. Whatever works for you, whenever you want to come down, you can, but we're going to take another five breaths, either here at this level five, this Charizard, or maybe come back down to your knees for the chameleon chameleon or whatever <laughs> or maybe um just extending one leg back and forth for that the other, i can't think of those names all right wherever you are whichever pokemon you are today we're all going to meet down into our child's pose mon <laughs> bending the knees dropping back and down Good. So my hips come towards my heels. If the hips don't come all the way down, that's cool. You can just have the hands down here. The hips are heavy. Dropping the head. Feeling the breath deep in and out of the belly. And things rest and soften. The key thing to this pose is about softening marshmallows, clouds, and brand new puppies. Just think soft or kittens whatever you prefer. We're gonna get soft here and let the body melt into the mat for the next five breaths in and out of the belly. Four, three, two, one. Good. Mm. And slowly coming back up to our tabletop position. Good. Knees hip distance apart, shoulders hip distance apart. We're going to come up into a standing pose from here. You can keep your camera where it is and just follow me with your ears. All I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my left foot forward, then bring my right foot forward, and I'm going to just slowly roll up, drag my arms over the front of my body, and slowly roll up and out of oh my pose so whenever you come to standing just roll your shoulders back and down a couple times taking your time easing and feeling what's going on in your body good moving your head from left to right nice and take whatever adjustments you need standing sitting being still whatever just acknowledging what feels good for you awesome 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 Aim just a time check. It's a little, just after five. Okay. So we are going to bring our hands into our heart. Ooh, thank you for our standing practice. And we will close it out. Um, I just wanted to talk about community. Thank you so much, Kate. Uh, so community is where you are and where you can be who you are. You can take that to the bank. I thank you all so much for being a part of this community sharing yoga and yourselves with me. So as always, feel free to feel free. And namaste. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.